Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shorts with Profanis. This is the third video of a series where we will see how to use libraries in Angular either using a monorepo or a polyrepo. In this video, we will see how to create and use an Angular library in a polyrepo. So, let's get started. This is the structure that we created in the previous video and what we can see is that we have the client1 and client2 and these are different Angular workspaces. In client1, inside the project, we have the mylib directory, which is our library. Please note that both client1 and client2 are in the same repo. For this video, let's assume that we have different repository for client1 and different repository for client2. In case we have two different repositories, we need somehow to reuse the library, right? So let's assume that we have one repo here and another repo here. And somehow we need to use this one. And this is our library. How can we do this? A common practice is to publish our library in the npm registry. In this video, we won't use npm, but we will use Verdaccio. Verdaccio is a private npm proxy registry, which means that our library will be inside the Verdaccio private npm proxy registry. And let's start with the first thing, which is the installation of Verdaccio npm install Verdaccio with the global flag. Now let's start Verdaccio. And in the output we can see that this is the path where the configuration lives. And also this is the HTTP address that we have to use. So let's click and open. And this is the default page of Verdaccio. In order to publish a package, we first have to login, then publish, and then of course refresh the page. Let's follow these steps. The first thing is to add a user, or to explain another way, is to login using our NPM credentials, but we have to login for this registry, for the localhost 4873, which is the port where Verdaccio lives. So I will copy this and let's go back to our terminal and just paste. My username is Profanis. I will add my password. And we are logged in. If we now type npm who am I, but for this registry, it will report back Profanis, which seems that we are logged in. The next step is to publish. Before we publish, let's prepare our library. And let's open the explorer and we have client1 and inside projects we have mylib. Let's go to mylib in the package.json and you know what? I will change this name and instead of mylib I will have it like profanislib. And I want to build the name of the library is mylib regardless of the name of the package itself. And you build mylib. Nice. So let's now go to dist mylib and these are the files the combined library have. The next step is to publish. So again, let's copy this and then publish on this registry. Paste it here and click enter. It seems that we have it. Let's go back to the browser and refresh the page. And this is it. This is our private npm proxy registry which currently has the profanis lib1 library and this is the current version the latest version that this library has if we click and open we can see the readme file which is the default from angular 
on the right side we can see how to install either using npm, yar or pnpm. This is the author, I didn't add any details on my package.json, that's why the author is anonymous. If we have any dependencies, if we have any other versions, and sort of it looks like npm. Now, how can we use this? How can we use this one, this library, the profanis lib, in our application? I will copy the npm install profanis lib by clicking here. I will go back to my application. And let's go two steps back in client one. And let's see, let's go here in the package.json and I want to install the profanis lib here. Let's click enter. It seems that something went wrong. The problem here is that whenever we click npm install, we try to install a package directly from the proxy registry. In this case, in our scenario, we don't need to install the library directly from npm registry, but instead from our private npm proxy registry, which is the Verdaccio. And during npm install, we have to define the registry. Or otherwise, what we can do is to create here a new file with the name npmrc. And inside here type registry equals and then define the path, which is localhost in the port 4873. And now let's give it one more try. npm install profan is lib. Let's open the package.json. And here it is. We have the profanis lib in the latest version, which is actually the only version that we have, which is 001. We might be wondering now, and wait, we have here the npmrc, and we have defined the registry of localhost 4873, which is Verdaccio. Okay. It seems that it works fine with the profanis lib, because it lives there, it lives in the Verdaccio, but how about all the others? Let's give it a try. I will delete all my node modules and I will install them again. The installation was successful without any error. How is this even working? As said, Verdaccio is an NPM proxy. If we have here the NPM, NPM, and this is our application. When we click the install, the installation goes via this proxy. And Verdaccio maintains a file with the names of the library it owns. If we want to install a package where it's not in that file, then it will go by default to npm registry. And this is the reason that we can successfully run npm install and work like a charm. So here it is. We have Profanis lib. Let's now go to tsconfig and update this path. This is the path that we defined in the previous video. And now we're going to have like node modules, profanis lib, and that's it. Again, let's npm start. Compile successfully. Let's go to the browser. And this is it. This is what we have. In localhost 4200, this is the default that we had in our library. Let's go to the library, projects, my lib, and in the src lib, let's open this in my lib component. This is it, code short with profanis. Nice. Let's do the exact same thing now in the other application, in the other workspace, in client 2. And you know what? I will copy this file, then pmrc, and I will paste it inside client 2. How can we install now the profanis lib? Let's go to Verdaccio, npm install profanis lib, and just paste it here. npm start in the port 
4201. What we forgot is to change the tsconfig. In tsconfig, again, we have to be like, I want to grab from node modules profanis lib. Delete this line. Kill the server and rerun it. And we expect to see if we go back to app component HTML. This is going to be h1 client2. Again, let's go back to the browser and let's open one more tab, 0, 01. And this is it client2 coach all with profanis. Excellent. Let's now do one more change. And you know what? I want now, I want to have an update on my library. And let's do this very small change here. I will delete the exclamation marks. Whenever we do any slight change in our library, we have to increase the version of the packageation. And let's go to CD, client one, and I want to ng build my lib. CD dist into the my lib, and now I have to run the publish. npm publish in this registry, click enter. And now let's go again to the browser, into the Verdaccio, and just click reload here. What we can see is that the latest version is 002. Let's close this, and if we go to the versions, we can see that we have two different ones. A few seconds ago, and this is 14 minutes ago. If we check both applications in this port and the application in the other port, and if we reload, we still see the old version. How can we install the latest version? In the similar way, we use the npm commands. Let's go to client1, kill the server, and be like, I want to install the profane sleep, and you know what? I want to have the latest version. And this is the new version. Rerun the server. And let's go to the browser to see what we have. If I reload now, we can see that we do not have the exclamation marks. This application has the latest version, whereas this one, this application has the old version. So we managed to use a library in a poly repo. To sum up, this is the client one, this is the client two. Here we have the NPM, and this is Verdaccio. Client 1, Client 2, this is the NPM, and this is Verdaccio. We published our library into Verdaccio, and we use in both applications Verdaccio as our proxy registry, which of course Verdaccio uses its own database and also has a reference to the actual NPM registry. In the description below, you will find the repo so that you can play around with, and you will also find the URL of the Verdaccio. So, that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.